This year on April 22nd, we celebrate the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. And let me get, begin today by thanking the Earth Day Network for allowing me to take a few minutes to share with uh, all of you some of my own thoughts about the importance of this day and what we can do every day to make our Earth a cleaner, better place in which to live. As a member of the United States the Senate Committee that's charged with protecting our environment, Earth Day holds a, a special significance for, for me. Uh, Earth Day was founded, as you know, in 1970 by a fellow named Senator Gaylord Nelson of Wisconsin. And its purpose was to galvanize an environmental movement and highlight the need for everyone to pitch in and help clean up our environment. As a young naval flight officer then, I joined the thousands of people in San Francisco to celebrate that very first uh, Earth Day. And in a remarkable way, that day and that celebration helped to change my own life and ultimately leading me to serve in the, you know, the, same, the same United States Senate, believe it or not, where uh, Gaylord Nelson served all those years ago. Uh, Earth Day uh, today is also a celebration of the progress we've made to help clean up our nation. And on this uh, 40th anniversary of Earth Day, we've got a lot uh, to celebrate. Since the uh, first Earth Day in 1970, we've come a long way in cleaning up our environment. Our air is cleaner, and our water is safer to drink. But there's a lot more that we can do, a whole lot more. As a member of Congress, I work every day with my colleagues to confront and solve some of our biggest environmental challenges, climate change, air pollution, water quality among them. However, I find some of the best solutions to these challenges can come from a relatively small steps taken by a whole lot of people. Step that each of us can take in our own daily lives that added together will result in huge improvements to our environment. Uh, first, almost all of us can be more energy efficient. As I like to say, the cleanest, most affordable energy is the energy we never use. Think about that. We can be more energy efficient in our homes, more energy efficient in our cars. For example, lighting accounts for some 15% of all of our household energy use, 15%. If we all swapped out five traditional light bulbs for Energy Star compact fluorescent light bulbs, each of us would save about 60 bucks a piece per year in electricity cost. We'd save energy, we'd reduce emissions. Simply moving uh, up our thermostats by two degrees in the summer and down by two degrees in the winter from where we normally would set them can eliminate about 2,000 pounds of CO2 per year. Now, as Delawareans, we're lucky to be one of the first states, in, in fact, we were the first state in the country, but we were one of the first states in the nation to have a, a statewide electrical smart grid program. And through Delmarva Power's program, we'll be able to monitor and track our energy usage, making it easier to become more energy efficient. We could also be more energy efficient by driving less frequently to work or perhaps carpooling or taking public transportation more often. And you might be surprised to, to know that in Delaware, over 80% of our residents drive alone to work. We're not proud of that. But if just one person per household left their car at home and commuted by public transportation, carpool, bicycle, that household would reduce its carbon footprint by 30% per year. Think about that, 30%. Second small thing we could do is to recycle. I love recycling because it helps to reduce our landfill input. It preserves precious resources and virgin materials, and it reduces our dependence on uh, fossil fuels. If everyone in our country increased by, say, 10%, the, uh, the number of bottles and cans that we recycle, we could conserve enough energy to, get this, heat 74, 74 million homes provide electricity for 2.5 million Americans, and save nearly $40 million in crude oil costs. You know, we throw away enough aluminum cans in the trash in the United States of America each year to completely fill our nation's, rebuild, completely rebuild our nation's domestic airline fleet every three months. Talk about low-hanging fruit. In closing, I just want to invite my fellow Delawareans to celebrate this 40th anniversary of Earth Day, not just on this day per year, uh, but on every day per year. And if we can do that, not, uh, not only would we save ourselves a lot of money, uh, we'd also go a long way toward saving our planet. So on this uh, Earth Day, happy Earth Day. Together, our small choices are going to make a huge difference. Thank you very much.